Hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie from Open World Games, and we've got some more delicious, tasty details about Assassin's Creed Unity. This game is looking freaking awesome. In this video, you're going to be learning about the game's total length, new side missions. This is really cool. There's some awesome new side missions in this game. A lady assassin, ooh la la, and more. So let's jump into it. Let's get to the news. So Assassin's Creed Unity is going to be the largest Assassin's Creed game ever created and it actually began development right after Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So this game has been in development for quite some time, but AC Unity is as large as Assassin's Creed 3's Frontier and also larger than Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flags land masses combined. So you guys can get an idea of how large this game is. And remember, there's gonna be no vehicle traversal in this game. That means you're not gonna be on horseback or using boats like in Assassin's Creed 4. Sort of disappointed that we won't be seeing horses for uh, the countryside. Let me know what you think if you would like to see horses in return like me, I definitely would. And this is all accomplished without loading screens. That is huge news. That is so important to new gen games to really cut down on the loading times. But the entire world is completely seamless. So moving from large crowds in exteriors to interiors like Notre Dame is very possible now without the loading time. So that's really, really good news. And it's gonna be great for the four player co-op. So expect tons of venturing into uh, awesome locations and learning about the history of France. So AC Unity story will be about 20 to 25 hours to complete, but with all the side activities and the story put together, you can expect well over 100 hours. This is sounding a lot like Watch Dogs in terms of total game length, but thankfully, We've got a huge cooperative component to the game, which I'm thrilled by. I feel like Watch Dogs missed out on that. So there will also be a single player story and then a cooperative story. So you will be experiencing the single player story by yourself as Arno. And then outside of that, you can have four players jump in and experience France together. And you can expect to bump into a lot of the characters and themes from the single player story with friends in the cooperative story. Let me know if you guys like this, if you want uh, future AC titles to allow you to experience all of the game together. I would prefer to be able to experience all of the game together, but what is here sounds really great. I am thrilled that they considered story in co-op play. That is really good news because Assassin's Creed is usually about the story. Now this is an excellent feature that they have added to Assassin's Creed Unity. Finally, you can save quests to a journal instead of being forced to pursue those quests immediately. This means you can find a side activity, say to yourself, you know what, that's cool, but well, I'm going to save that to my journal. And this is reminiscent of games like Skyrim, so that indicates that Assassin's Creed is more and more becoming like an RPG game, which I am for. I would love to see them take this franchise and make it a full blown RPG. They've got the character customization and in fact, the creative director said that players can join in co-op and compare their weapons and then go on the hunt for those weapons. So you guys will be helping each other find these weapons much like Destiny. So they are really interested in pushing the RPG aspect and I really do like this. I hope they continue doing this with Assassin's Creed and you will be upgrading your customized Arno with unique skills in combat, stealth, and exploration. So guys, I really do like this. Let me know what type of RPG aspects you would like to see in Assassin's Creed. Ubisoft also revealed the new side activity called Murder Mysteries and you can expect to dive into the dark underworld of Paris to solve crimes. It's likely you'll also get to pursue these activities in co-op which is going to add so much to the experience. And then Assassin's Contracts among other uh, well-known side activities will be making a return and I love the Assassin's Contracts but those 
are definitely going to be cooperative, so you can expect to be assassinating key targets throughout Paris with friends. And rival factions will be making it into the game, and most likely will act like factions from Assassin's Creed Revelations. And if you don't remember this, in Assassin's Creed Revelations, what you can do is distract these factions and then pit them against one another to distract them and then slip by unnoticed. And I'm hopeful that you will be doing this same tactic with friends. It's one of my favorite undeveloped features from Assassin's Creed Revelations, and I really hope they flesh this feature out in uh, Unity big time. And mentioning Assassin's Creed Revelations, Bombs will be making a return to the Assassin's Creed franchise, but you will not have to craft them this time. I felt like bombs were pretty much pointless in Assassin's Creed Revelations, but I hope they have a point here in the game, and there's going to be smoke bombs as well. And also, a new female assassin is rumored to support Arno in battle, and then will provide Arno with a love interest. So Arno is looking more and more like a new Ezio, which I think is great. However, this new love interest may also be working as a Templar. So things are about to get really, really interesting in AC Unity. And this is really cool. Ubisoft teased the idea that Templars and Assassins may temporarily be joining forces to take on a bigger threat. I would love to see this, and in fact, it would be great to be able to play as a Templar with an uneasy alliance with other players in co-op. Let me know what you think about that idea. That would be really, really interesting if they eventually took that route in an Assassin's Creed game. Also, it appears the game will have hot air balloons as a possible vehicle, and you're probably going, what? Hot air balloons? Yeah, I know, but guess what? They were used for war reconnaissance during the French Revolution and could be possibly used to expand Arno's eagle vision, so that could be their use. Perhaps our lady assassin friend could be helping us from above during major battles. Remember, the crowds in this game are massive thanks to new gen technology. So guys, there it is. Brand new details about Assassin's Creed Unity. As you could tell, I am super excited about this game. I have been playing Assassin's Creed games as long as I can remember, and I am thrilled that they are going back to the roots of the Assassin's Creed franchise with the parkour and large cities and crowds, and then the stealth mechanics are returning in a big way. So guys, look forward to more news about Assassin's Creed Unity right here on Open World Games, and then we have Assassin's Creed Comet coming to the Xbox 360 and PS3. Expect a brand new trailer shortly. So guys, subscribe right here on Open World Games if you are wanting more Assassin's Creed Unity and all things Open World Games. Thanks guys for watching, and I will see you in Paris. See you guys next time.